How bad is LDL cholesterol? We've all been told that LDL cholesterol is the villain lurking in our arteries, waiting to strike and cause heart disease. But what if I told you that the story isn't that simple? That there's a twist in this tale of fats and fitness? Today, we dive deep into the world of LDL cholesterol and unravel the truth behind its controversial reputation. Understanding cholesterol. Cholesterol is a crucial type of fat that plays an essential role in the human body. It is often misunderstood with different forms of cholesterol carrying varying perceptions. Let's dive straight into understanding cholesterol, differentiating between LDL and HDL cholesterol, and exploring the common perception of LDL as the bad cholesterol. Cholesterol, as a fat molecule, serves numerous vital functions in our bodies. It acts as a structural component of cell membranes, aids in hormone production, such as testosterone and estrogen, and contributes to the formation of bile acids necessary for digestion. Without cholesterol, these critical processes would be severely compromised. When it comes to cholesterol, there are two main types, LDL, low-density lipoprotein, and HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is commonly labeled as the bad cholesterol due to its association with the buildup of plaque in arteries, leading to a higher risk of heart disease. On the other hand, HDL cholesterol is often referred to as the good cholesterol because it helps remove cholesterol from the arteries, reducing the risk of cardiovascular issues. LDL cholesterol is assumed to accumulate in the arterial walls, forming plaques that narrow the blood vessels. This narrowing restricts blood flow and increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. That is in general the idea. The artery's wall thickens because of the accumulation of fat, fibrous tissue, and calcium deposit. And what is the role of vitamin C in forming plaques? Stay tuned and discover. Before we delve into this, I have a quick favor to ask. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest insights and discoveries we share on this channel. However, it is essential to note that cholesterol, including LDL cholesterol, is not inherently bad. The key lies in maintaining a balance and understanding the role of LDL cholesterol in the body. It is necessary for various functions, including delivering cholesterol to tissues for repair and maintenance. Lipid hypothesis. The lipid hypothesis proposes that the presence of bad and good blood lipids, specifically LDL and HDL cholesterol respectively, contributes to the development of heart disease. This theory has faced significant criticism and challenge from various fronts in recent years. One key aspect of the debate revolves around the accuracy of measuring LDL cholesterol as a direct indicator of heart disease risk. Some researchers argue that total cholesterol, which encompasses three types of fats in the blood, may be an inadequate metric for assessing cardiovascular health. Instead, attention is being directed towards triglycerides as a potentially more valuable number to monitor in relation to heart health. The criticism against the lipid hypothesis has gained traction due to a revaluation of past findings. One of the notable arguments against this hypothesis is the role of underlying factors like inflammation in cardiovascular disease. While LDL cholesterol has been associated with artery buildup and heart disease, it is now recognized that inflammation and other related factors play a more significant role in the development of cardiovascular issues. To better understand the origins of the lipid hypothesis, we turn to the 1960s when two opposing camps clashed over the primary cause of heart disease. John Yudkin argued that sugar was to blame, while Ansel Keys placed the spotlight on dietary fat, particularly saturated fat. Although Keys' perspective gained prominence, subsequent examination revealed that three major findings used to support the fat as enemy notion were later deemed irrelevant and unrelated to the true causes of heart disease. Benefits of cholesterol While cholesterol's link to heart disease is widely recognized, its importance extends far beyond cardiovascular health. Cholesterol serves as a fundamental building block for various critical functions in the body. Hormone production. One crucial role of cholesterol is its involvement in hormone synthesis. Cholesterol is a precursor to produce essential hormones such as testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. 
These hormones play a significant role in regulating various physiological processes, including reproductive function, growth, and metabolism. Bile fluid production. Cholesterol is also essential for the production of bile fluid, which aids in the digestion and absorption of dietary fats. Bile, synthesized in the liver using cholesterol, helps emulsify fats, allowing them to be broken down and effectively utilized by the body. The link to vitamin C. Interestingly, research has uncovered a connection between cholesterol production and vitamin C deficiency. When the body lacks an adequate supply of vitamin C, it compensates by increasing cholesterol production. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in the synthesis of collagen, a protein needed for the maintenance of blood vessels. In the absence of sufficient vitamin C, the body produces more cholesterol to repair and maintain the integrity of blood vessels. Natural Remedies Introduction Maintaining a healthy balance of cholesterol is essential for overall heart health. In this article, we will delve into the world of natural remedies that have shown potential in supporting cholesterol balance. From the therapeutic benefits of the artichoke to the detoxifying properties of dandelion root, these natural remedies offer promising avenues for promoting optimal cholesterol levels. Artichoke Artichoke, derived from the leaves of the Cinera scolimus plant, has gained recognition for its cholesterol-lowering effects. Rich in antioxidants and phytochemicals, artichoke extract has been studied for its ability to reduce LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels while increasing HDL cholesterol. The active compounds in artichoke, such as caring and luteolin, are believed to inhibit cholesterol synthesis and enhance the excretion of cholesterol from the body. Incorporating artichoke extract, artichoke herbal tea, or enjoying fresh artichokes in meals can be a natural approach to supporting cholesterol balance. Dandelion root. Known as a resilient weed, dandelion, Taraxacum officinale, has a long history of use in traditional medicine. Dandelion root is prized for its detoxifying properties and its potential role in promoting liver health, which is closely linked to cholesterol regulation. The liver plays a crucial role in cholesterol metabolism, and maintaining its optimal function is vital for achieving cholesterol balance. Dandelion root is believed to stimulate the production of bile, which aids in the breakdown and excretion of cholesterol. It also possesses antioxidant properties that may protect against cholesterol oxidation. Incorporating dandelion root as a tea or in supplement form may help support liver health and contribute to cholesterol balance. Other natural remedies. Beyond artichoke and dandelion root, several other natural remedies have shown promise in promoting cholesterol balance. Garlic, for instance, contains sulfur compounds that may help lower LDL cholesterol and prevent its oxidation. Turmeric, a vibrant spice commonly used in curries, contains curcumin, which has been linked to reduced LDL cholesterol levels and improved cardiovascular health. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in fatty fish like salmon and sardines, have been shown to increase HDL cholesterol and reduce triglyceride levels. Adding these natural remedies to your diet or incorporating them as supplements may provide additional support for cholesterol balance. The Significance of Liver Health The liver plays a vital role in cholesterol metabolism. It is responsible for producing cholesterol and regulating its levels in the body. To support liver health, it is essential to adopt a healthy lifestyle that includes regular exercise, a balanced diet, and moderation in alcohol consumption. Additionally, avoiding processed foods and minimizing exposure to toxins can help maintain optimal liver function and contribute to cholesterol balance. Practical Tips for Cholesterol Balance Embrace a balanced diet. Incorporate heart-healthy foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats like avocados and nuts. Limit intake of saturated and trans fats found in fried and processed foods. Engage in regular physical activity. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week. Regular exercise can help increase HDL cholesterol and improve overall cardiovascular health. Manage stress. Chronic stress can impact cholesterol levels. Practice stress-reducing techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or engaging in hobbies. Avoid smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels and lowers HDL cholesterol levels. 
Quitting smoking is crucial for improving heart health and maintaining cholesterol balance. Regular checkups. Schedule regular visits with your healthcare provider to monitor your cholesterol levels and discuss any necessary interventions or medications. Conclusion. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of LDL cholesterol and its impact on our health. As we've discovered, the narrative surrounding LDL cholesterol isn't as clear-cut as we once believed. By challenging the traditional cholesterol myth, we've unraveled a fascinating tapestry of information, uncovering the intricate interplay between cholesterol, inflammation, and heart health. Don't miss out on future captivating discussions about health and wellness. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest insights, research, and practical tips to nurture your heart, mind, and body.